So yes, finally, finally, finally! Though of course we are back with another Duck and Bob video. So yeah, uh, we got some good news for Goro right here. I got some energy. I literally fell asleep and woke up. So yeah, because I was up doing the video thumbnail. Um, because the video is gonna get Doka Fist for JP. And now I figured I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get her video done and stuff like that. Um, I like I have everything ready to go for it. YouTube, Twitter, all that stuff, cool stuff, tags video checking for copyright claims which they have to actually have that now for youtube so for example if you have like music in your video and um, or like you know something that's copyright claimed they will detect youtube will detect it now and they'll make sure like to remove it beforehand so you can actually upload the video so that's actually really good and i actually do like that feature i checked i was like i think it was like yesterday or i think it was like friday was it saturday monday friday um it wasn't friday it was like saturday or sunday one of the two um i did check for the update i didn't check for the update but i saw it and i was like it was completely new it's shocked i was like wait checks I'm thinking like if you get monetized, it says monetization, you have to look what you um doing and stuff like that. So I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't know about that. So um yeah. My camera is in a little bit of a different position because you know if I try to move it down a little bit more, it'll be a little bit black. So yeah. Um basically I could do it kind of right now because I am I can have sleep a little bit. So yeah, I got some really good sleep. Um I'm gonna go back to bed with this anyway though. So yeah. Um ignoring all the other news. So yeah, we got PyCon and Janepa, of course, coming to um Dokin uh, for Global. Um, so yeah, these are the two, um, current dog of course, right now for, um, go coming to global and stuff like that, of course. So yeah, um, this right here is just a major skip. I'm, I'm honestly saying now, skip this banner. It is not worth it. Like, it really is not. Um, in the longer run, it's good, but it ain't worth it, though. I mean, because I remember last year, um, on April 1st, because, you know, last year we got Kalkin Blue Goku. And this year we're getting Pagan and Jinepa. Pretty early, though, because they're, like, a month, like, because they would have came out, like, in, like, May. Do do I do lots a whole entire month, so... This will probably be half the month of April right now, so the whole entire month of April because they can tend to kind of keep this kind of not short, but they tend to kind of keep these like in that kind of range area though. So yeah, I'm gonna probably upload this video when I'm done with it and so that I get it out as soon as I can. Um, so yeah, um, again, um, this is the Joker Fest teasers. We got another new um, future, no, we got new, you know, our first ever Futurely Born um, toy event right here. So yeah, it's worth seeing it in like you know global translations. It's so weird. Um, because then JP's like, yes, seriousness, but like, Bulb was like, okay. Yeah, I'm probably getting a new Veku card that Doku awakens into like a regular Veku, so yeah. Again, I mean, they're not, they're nothing, nothing really special there, but I mean, he's pretty okay. He's not like the best favorite game though. Her is kind of really bad. I haven't really talked about him like that that much, so yeah. Um, I remember, I remember this came out like from JP. We were just getting everywhere. It's like so much stuff came out. Cause we got the Jump Festa stuff. We got JP leak. Um, huh, huh. Jump leaks. See if we go there. Um, beat up leaks and stuff like that. We got like a whole bunch of new stuff. So that was actually really cool for that. Um, JP and stuff like that, of course. So yeah. Um, again though, not that bad. Pretty good some stuff right here. So yeah. Again, it's a um, new free play unit you get from this new story event. So go ahead and try to get them if you feel like it. So yeah. Of course, these are um, Doga Fest right here. Um, Python and Jimbo. There's a banner art. I just kind of figured I'd put that out. Um, just in case if you like new and stuff like that, have seen the banner. You're like, oh, you guys can be like, oh, that banner. Yeah, that banner. I'm going to skip. Yay! <laughs> yeah, P yeah, we got Pecan and <laughs> Jinepa. Man, Battle Hour just... So everybody gets Battle Hour. Nice job, Pecan. Yeah, we got Pecan coming. So yeah. Are there the banner right, banners right here? They actually not that bad, actually. They're both actually really, really good. But for Global right now, it's like a main Global player you've been playing for a very long time. You know, you've seen these units on the banners and stuff like that. You pretty much have all of them like me. I'm only missing, like, what? Of course, a new unit and, of course, I think I'm only missing... Like, Pecan and Boo. And for Janepa's banner, I think I'm the same thing. I'm missing Janepa, I think it'll change the trunks. I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna sub and stuff like that. Who we'll gives some gold discounts and tickets? I mean, I feel like you should also, also just really do discounts first, and then probably, um, you know, um, um, summon and stuff like that. But yeah, do this kind of get some tickets potentially, and you know, summon and stuff like that. Uh, I'll probably say do that in all the day because the bears really in, in the longer run. They're not really that worth it. They are good though. Like they're actually really good and worth to go on. Because again, like if you're like a new player or whatever, these like, all both all be really good. But at the same time, for the anniversary, which I meant to actually pull up beforehand, I felt like I was missing something. On um, the anniversary bears are way better than this. Again, like those are way better. Even though I feel like the these units have to come back a lot this time around this year, so <sighs> um it's kind of like that a little bit though, so yeah, it's like, it's like a balance of both, like, um, some units are in there I already have, like, I'm only missing, like, what, 5 out of 5 units for the anniversary banners, personally, for me. So yeah, plus right now with the global update, they do not have its update right here, but basically you trade units for coins, essentially, which I really love, I really want this update for a really, really long time, so there's a lot of other people as well. Um, this basically brings in a coin system, a new, new part, part of the coin system, where basically you sell characters for coins. Like, for example, if you want something like a Pycon Janepa banner, for example, and you, um, these two banners, for example, and you pull, um, 
Let's go through from here, from that banner. You can sell him only with red coins because he's only from the Dark Fest banner. Again, you want to sell him if he's from a Dark Fest um, coin, Dark Fest banner. It, um, you can only summon like this guy. You can summon him from a legendary summon banner. You get yellow coins and anything that's not these two are basically blue coins. So yeah, again, anything that a Dark Fest or um, legendary summon banner is basically um, blue coins. Which actually they all have really good value. Again, blue coins mainly just like you know type leaders. Which again, they'll probably be like board turn units or fair play units or other units that. Maybe they'll do it in the future, maybe? I feel like they could. Everybody's really wants that, like a green coin or orange coin or whatever. Um, I thought I was going to see it though for like three plays. I thought that if I were to get some green coins again, um, get some of those fair play units, like that large and stuff like that. I guess I want to see, I see that. So yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so if you're some of those banners, this is probably going to never banner. Pull this guy, have him, um, you know, up and stuff like that. He can sell him for coins. But they do actually have to be rainbow though, so yeah. Again, they had to be all rainbow 100%. That's all you had to do. But yeah, again, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to do it. Because yeah, I, I kind of get it as well. Because, you know, orbs and stuff like that are a really big resource in the game. And you kind of want to keep it and prioritize them on as many units as you can. Like Dragon Ball Broly can get some orbs. Maybe have him rainbow already. The blue Dragon Ball Super Godita. Again, some good units here and there and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'm yelling so much, it's really late at night though, so yeah. Um, we had a longer run though, this, um, like again, the core system is actually really good and stuff like that, so, um, yeah. And you had to have units rainbow though, 100% in your box, because the game will identify like, okay, got a rainbow, there you go. So yeah, um, that's how um, it is on JP. Right now, to me, on global, it doesn't count, like for, like for example, right now, you can like, try to do this on global. Um, remember, units don't really matter. I mean, you can still keep the SSR and stuff like that. Like, like right now, you still keep the SSR, but it doesn't factor in the update. Like, you know, I, before the update, it doesn't really matter though, because it doesn't count. Like, oh yeah, I almost have so many Gogetas, but no, sorry, you can't. You gotta wait until the update goes live in game. And this will probably be like what, like two months later for Global? They tend to like, keep its updates within like a month's range and like two months after JP gets it. So it usually comes out wrong pretty fast. So yeah, honestly, units though, I feel like I saw it long enough. So yeah, um, of course, Pack on Jimba, they have two new categories for Jimba is mined by Erosion and for PyCon, it is Connect the Hopes. Yeah, the last hope of him getting a Duck Fest ever. So yeah, um, of course, though, um, the book is really good, um, in my own opinion. PyCon does a lot and he actually is really good for that. I love like how he's built all the way through, he's good, effective against um, potentially all types of stuff like that. Where I think we get the partnership for attack, um. Which you'll see a lot of times, just you had to have a Goku or Vegeta Angel um, on the team. It just it, it can be any Angel Goku, any Angel Vegeta, and you can see that a lot though, because there's so many just different Angel Goku's and Vegeta's in the game already though. So you, know, you have a lot of units to go by there. So yeah, unless you're like a new player, you don't have it though. But yeah, I can only be really be good if you have like the other partners for attack up and stuff like that. But overall though, actually he's again you're gonna see that partner super attack a lot. You're gonna lower attack and defense. You're gonna be effective against all types. Main attack. Um, <laughs> Effective against all types and stuff like that, so um, you can probably see it there, honestly, though, half the time. So, yeah, as I, I'll actually, um, I'll be really good again. He does so much, he's basically like has a like, ghost usher and stuff like that. Um, this category is I didn't really see his categories that much beforehand, so yeah, again, experienced fighter. Um, again, that's pretty funny. Um, his link set is actually um pretty okay as well. It's, it's okay, not like the best link set. That's uh, that's why everybody contact, contacts about PyCon. I can kind of agree as well, though. His link set do kind of it's okay, yeah, gentlemen. Gentlemen, that's really good. So, that's that's link in the game works. That's not really good. Even though I didn't get an update with the update, so link up to some updates. So yeah. But overall, though, his actually is really good. It was overall kit and stuff like that. Of course, for a super attack, his super unit super attack, his passive, it's all really good. His act of skills, essentially a ghost usher. All really good all around, but yeah, again, he's not really like, oh my gosh, game breaking, like, disgusting, you need to sign for him. He's pretty okay. I would say the next boy, Janemba. I'm actually more impressed with Janemba, though, but he actually is a lot better, I feel like, before he transforms. Because I feel like he does, he's kind of, he's tanking a little bit more, he's doing a lot more before he transforms. But after he transforms, he um, goes like full just damage output, all that, and stuff like that, you know, changing orbs and stuff like that. It's also actually all pretty so solid and good. Um, but I do actually like him before he transforms. And after he transforms too, he just goes wild and crazy. He is extreme tech, so it's actually really good for Geneva as well. So it's actually really good for him. Because I feel like he did kind of need the help and stuff like that. Of course, extreme tech needs that help, so. It's good they push him on there again. He has, a real, he has like probably one of the best things in the game, big red bosses. Never, Nightmare still pretty solid. Link, um, of course, first battle so good on there again. All the links are good. I don't, I think, brutal breakdown. What a brutal, 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 brutal breakdown. What a brutal breakdown again. It's felt like it is not really good. Okay, that's, that's another actor attack. Line. So, yeah, Chalk Speed, of course, Fear and Faith again. They're all really good links. So he has like probably, I think, one of the best links in the game though for villains. So, if you want to try to pick him up in camp, but again, I probably take a bit from the comeback under the Dodo Combat Banner. They kind of keep these kind of the same. Probably Golden Book for JP. They'll probably bring these guys back. It's been a long time. So, yeah. Uh, that'll, that'll probably be in April's V-Jump, though, um, do that. 
So yeah, a good overall though. I actually am yeah, more impressed with Janempa Pycon overall though. I'm overall impressed with this whole entire kit. But for um, Janempa, I feel like I liked him a lot better when he first came out. And yeah, it's been so long, so I was like, oh my gosh, my reactions are so like, oh my gosh, just yeah. And of course, we're going to um, Gogeta right here. I guess I never really like talk about this guy that much, so but I heard he's actually pretty good. I heard he's actually really bad, you know, but the game right here. So yeah, I didn't really see that much to talk about him though. But um, yeah, he has a great chance. Um, let's see, um, we're doing super attack. Of course, his defense um goes up every time he dodges and stuff like that. Um, yeah, but he does mess up his own attack though a little bit though, so that makes sense because you know he's failed for sure. Goku and Vegeta affected or something like that. Though, so. Um. But yeah, though, I'm ready for the physical back here. He didn't even get his awakening. You know, that is the guy who's giving me his awakening. But yeah, it's like a fire attack. He fired on the unit and stuff like that. So yeah. And then we're all, we'll have the global super attacks up and stuff like that. I'll try to get him up as soon as I can. I've just been kind of lazy and doing a lot of other stuff on the side lately. So, though, so yeah. I mean, not, not lazy, but I've just been like doing all the, a lot of other stuff on the side. Just like, you know. Um, and get a little minor stuff. Um, but yeah. Um, of course, I'm going to go into the video here. Like I said, no one really ever really talked about this. Go. To Veku, but uh, go to get the same thing. But yeah, uh, Veku and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I never really seen no one talk about him that much. So for me, it's like, okay, but yeah. Um, but yeah, they give us the best of all attack. A lot of people just kind of talk about that and go over that. So yeah, again, I'm a little bit more impressed with Geneva when he first came out. But again, now that kind of has kind of cooled down for him. Um, I don't have to think of him anymore. Again, I don't have sleep right now, so yeah. Um, we're gonna get in the video there, so yeah. Um, again, the bears are pretty, the bears are actually really good, but again, just because the coin system not there, I say, um, they do discounts, call it a day. Again, the coin system really practicing a lot of the stuff being a little bit better. But again, no orbs, resources, uh, a, lot of, not, a lot of people are not gonna have that, um, unfortunately, though. But overall, though, all this stuff should be really solid and good, though, for our gold and stuff like that. Of course, this will be like, you know, again, two months later or whatever. But all the bears are good, but I'd say skip it, save for the anniversary at this point. It looks shiny, good, nice they look shiny and cool but don't some i say skip and wait for um um we wait for the anniversary at this point for gold because again it's like within what like this is gonna be out in april may june july you got like at least like three months of worth saving up you probably have like a good been like have like a thousand stones by then plus the anniversary you got give out a lot of stones so there you go I'm going to whip out really a lot of stones for you guys, so you guys um, meet up do that. Or, you know, save up beforehand, so you get a lot of stuff, because, you know, Gold Bunch AP are probably going to have something maybe in May for Goku Day. I feel like honestly they could, because, um, you know, just, um, because they just had a on Jinpa, and this stuff is usually in May, because last year for, um, for, um, <clears throat> But it's kind of like time slot for these units are usually in May. For like, I mean, for Goku Day makes sense because last year we had like an Goku and Roger Vegeta makes sense for this Goku Day. So, yeah, it's good to do something for Goku Day. Um, we'll do it for Saiyan Day and stuff like that. So, especially with JP right now and Global, discounts now can probably honestly be a thing now. Um, with um, yeah, discounts can be probably a thing now because PLF Show is going to be out by probably by then. i uh, probably this week PLF Show will be out. I'll make a full guide for that for mobile because I can actually start doing mobile recordings again. Um, again, we can have like this. Um, again, we got the PLO Trove discounts, tickets, and Goldman JP cap at the same time now. So, that's gonna be a thing now. So, that's actually really good. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a thing now, probably. Um, to think of it. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a thing now. Um, again, just a lot of those stuff. There's a lot of stuff I want to talk about. I'll probably talk about my PyCon video, so I'll say, yeah. Engine number video, so of course. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great luck. All good. Get down. Make sure stay safe. Watch it. God bless all of you. We're going out. Put wear mask, toilet paper, all that cool stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah, though. Um, go steal it. I'm kidding, though. So, yeah. What do you guys think about all this stuff? Do you like it? Do you hate it? I think I talked on, on, on long enough, though. So, get it into here, though. Again, Pilot Janemba. Good, but don't worth it. Don't show something. Please don't do it. So, yeah. See you guys later, though, again, though. Peace out.